It is now reported, however, that the right honourable gentleman, who I understand wishes to be known as the Wolf of Whitehall in the future. <laughs> well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Now, I don't normally do this sort of thing because I don't do TikTok. It seems to be something that's more for the kids than me, you know, being a bit of an oldie. But on Thursday, Oliver Dowden, the Duchy of Lancaster, told the House of Commons that TikTok was banned from MPs having it on their official government devices. Well, Lib Dems MP for Orkney and Shetland, Alistair Carmichael, asked for a point of order about the Wolf of Whitehall. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, you will be aware that earlier today the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster came to the House to make a statement on the security of government devices, and in, partly in the future, ministers and officials will not be allowed to have TikTok on their government-provided device. I, I'm sure that much of the support in the Chamber for that came as a result of the presumption that many of us made that this would mean that we would no longer have to endure the sight of the Secretary of State for energy security and net zero on this young person's app. <laughs> it is now reported, however, that the right honourable gentleman, who I understand wishes to be known as the Wolf of Whitehall in the future, <laughs> has posted a meme on the app saying, I'm not leaving. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, how do we get some clarity on the government's messaging here? Surely a risk is a risk, whether it's on a minister's private phone or one provided by the government. Uh, well, I uh, thank the uh, right honourable gentleman um, for that uh, point of order. Um, as he says, there was a statement about this uh, earlier. Um, it's in fact not a matter for the um, chair, I'm afraid, um, to rule on uh, this particular aspect of TikTok um, and anybody's name on it. But he's obviously put his point on the record, and I'm sure that if the Treasury bench feel that there is anything um, that they uh, need to feed back um, to any particular department, that they will um, do so. And I think we'd probably better leave it at that, frankly. Yeah, I think I quite agree. Maybe just leave it like that. But like I said, I wasn't going to do anything on this because, as I say, TikTok isn't my thing. But I was listening to James O'Brien and he had a conversation with Will Guyatt, LBC's technology correspondent, about this, where he said that Oliver Dowden was being disingenuous when he said that TikTok was harvesting more information from our phones than any other social networks. He also said if it's so dangerous, why did Number 10 get an exemption from this? You know, so they can speak to their budding younger audience. Whatever. TikTok is either dangerous or... Or it isn't, is it, really? So he's also, when he talks about the Wolf of Whitehall, where he basically said, if TikTok is so dangerous, why does our Sebastian Green, or whatever he wants to call himself these days, think that uh, TikTok will not go sniffing around his own personal phone? And please bear in mind, I do feel sorry for the poor person who will be given the job to sniff around Grant Chaps. So what do you think about this situation then, guys? Is there more to this? Because, let's be honest here, we all have to be careful when it comes to uh, social media with information and stuff like that. But why just TikTok? Is there more to this than meets the eye? Let me know down below. Until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.